Morning guys, today we're going to talk to you about the Camp King Industries rooftop tent. Hello, let's jump straight into it. Okay. Um, so how this tent has held up in the weather and all the conditions that we've put it through already. Are your thoughts? Yeah, it has been pretty amazing. We haven't had it wet inside at all or um, yeah, the, the, even the condensation up here in Northern Territory in this weather has been really good. The bedding hasn't been wet and all that kind of stuff. So pretty, pretty happy with it. Wind, the heat, the rain, it's um, been really good so far for us. Yep. Um, there's no complaints on that side of things with the tent. Um, we have found that it's held up really, really well for both of us, I think. Yeah. So I think one of my favourite things about the tent is the slimline design and it's very sleek and it looks good. As you can see on the, on the ute now, it's set up, we've slept in it last night and yeah, it, look, it just looks incredible. So we get lots of compliments about it and just the ease of setting it up. Yep. It, how long does it take? Like Oh, under that minute time frame sort of thing, like it's such an easy setup. All we've got is the four super peg poles up one end, um, quick and easy. Yeah, we've pretty much got it down pat now, so, which is really good. Some key features that I really like about the tent is up in the tent there's some USB points and also the cigarette lighter socket, socket points as well, um, which is really good. So we run a fan up there and we've got a light, which the light is on just like a little keychain, and you can actually turn it on and off in bed, which is unreal. Works very well for us. Yeah. Um, yeah, one of my likes for this tent is definitely the height. Um, we can both definitely stand up in it and get changed. So that's probably one of my favourite things. Yep. And the internal length of the um, rooftop tent is seven foot long. So inside it is actually very big. So for us it's great. Even at the end of the bed we've actually got like a probably about this much. I, I can't tell you exactly how much I can put up um, specifications and everything in the right up below of how much we've got at the end of the bed. And we just sit like say our drink bottle or um, yeah, all that kind of stuff there when we're going to bed, so. I reckon one of the common, most common questions we do get as well is, can we pack our rooftop tent up with everything inside? And the answer for that is yes. So we leave our bedding up there, pillows, drink bottles, the fan, everything stays up there and it closes up, no worries at all. So that's one of our favourites yeah. as well. Yeah, it's very easy, so that, yeah, it's unreal. And actually inside the tent there's, um, pockets at the end of the bed, at the top top end and that end of the bed. So you can put anything in there. And also Camp King Industries do make um, accessories to Velcro onto like the roof of the tent as well. So it's just that little bit extra storage and it's really good. So we've never had it fall off or anything like that. It's super, super strong Velcro. There is so many different options for this tent. Um, like you said, jump on the website, check out there. They've got the shoe bags, which is probably one of my all-time favourites, so that you're not carrying any dirt and anything into your bed. Put your shoes in the bag, jump into bed, so. Yeah, I think I'm the culprit for that. <laughs> Forgetting to take my shoes off before I get into bed, so, oops. <laughs> so another thing that is really good with this tent is, well, we've got a 270 degree awning on our tent. But with the ladder, you can actually have the bracket of the ladder around any three sides of the tent. So at the moment, we've got it at the back, as you can see the ladders there. Um, but you can have it, yeah, on the other side. We have actually had it on the other side before, but we, yeah, just decided that at the back of the tent is best for us. So, and that's what we like the most. And access three, three ways to the tent, which is really good. Yeah, that rear entrance is still our main point of entrance. Yeah. Because um, you've still got to set the tent up from the rear. Um, so yeah, it does work really well for both of us. Another really good point about this rooftop tent is the solar panel that we've got on top of the rooftop tent. So it is on the railing up there and it's very sleek and obviously because it's on a um, slope, it always catches the sun, so. Works well. Um, also, if you want to chuck anything else up there, you can use recovery gear, um, such as your recovery boards or max track. Or even um, a surfboard, you can put Whatever you there. like. Right, so do we have any dislikes about the Camp King Industries rooftop tent? For me, um, it's going to be a no. Um, I can't pick anything out at all wrong about it. It's um, direction of flow, 
oh no, everything just seems to work. So. Yeah, it's strong, like it, it's just, it's good. Like it's quality, it's a quality rooftop tent. You might pay the price, but I 100% just cannot, yeah, cannot recommend it enough. We have had um, previous rooftop tents and again, they were great, but this quality of this rooftop tent and even the canvas is just second to none. One of the no really leaks. good things about this tent as well, so the back entrance, that's a, that, that's a full window. So um, if it is raining or like really windy or you just want to block out some um, air but you still want that airflow, you open up that end window and it's protected by the, by the little facade at the back. So it, it's really good. So we generally have that quite open, don't we? Yeah, Each we do. night, even if it's cold, hot, we always kind of have it open. And generally we have like our side windows open as well. So. There's just so much just, airflow. Yeah, just very open. If it's raining. Get good views out of it. So. Yeah. So at the moment we're waking up to this view and it's just yeah, it's phenomenal. So our reasonings for partnering with um, Campkin Industries is being Australian made. Yeah, that's definitely our biggest point um, that we really wanted to stick with. Obviously, with all this stuff going on overseas, we really wanted to um, have that Australian made products on yeah. our um, setup For to sure. travel Australia. Um, and definitely to meet the people behind it all, from the boys in the workshop, to yeah. the owners. Sarah um, and Lucas are incredible people. Their whole family is just beautiful. Yeah, they run so, such a great show in there. Yeah. Um, and we were lucky enough to, when we picked up the ute, um, they gave us a big warm welcome and we actually went camping out at Gordon's Country. So it was amazing to go test out the products with them to see, yeah, to see even what they used. and Talk about their products. Yeah, and yeah. actually learn a lot more about the, you know, the products and why they've chosen what they've done. And, how they're built and all the brains that get put into building something amazing like this behind it.